cleric's kick against immorality, opposed movie village in Kano State. Hijab ban. Muslims express victory over court judgments. Fraud allegations denied by the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria. House of Rep. Jibrin threatened over budget scandal. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to iMedia News. I am Toibat Anifoshi. Now the news in detail. In a bid to protect the integrity and moral sanity in Kano states, an Islamic cleric, Malam Abdullah Osman Gadokaya, has urged Muslim faithful to protest against the proposed movie village in Kano states. This movie village will be in honor of President Muhammad Buhari. While arguing that the movie industry would attract strangers from all over the world who might practice immorality and destroy the established Islamic doctrines in the states, he, however, advised that the industry be transferred to other states who might welcome the idea. The cleric also urged the federal government to concentrate on improving the standard of living by developing the necessary amenities in the states. Correspondent Hassan Okikiola has more details. Uh, well, on moral justification, I think I agree with uh, the opinion of the scholars that uh, we have to also look at uh, the moral question that, that will arise when you have such a, a village in Kano. Financially, you may think that a number of uh, people will earn income, but I also think that there are other entrepreneurship uh, that uh, people can engage in instead of uh, exposing ourselves to some of the immoral uh, activities that may be carried out. If you look at the moral ground, there are better things that can be done apart from that uh, film village. And because for the, for the ulamas to make that kind of comment, they must have their own proof and they must have a stand. The kind of people have urged the federal government to capitalize on further establishment that can bring goods without immorality to the Kano state. Hassan Okikiola Kosum reporting. The court verdict pronounced in the Lagos Appeal Court over the hijab ban has generated excited reactions among Muslims nationwide. It will be recalled that the use of hijabs has earlier generated conflicting opinion between Muslims and the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan. Khan had earlier threatened to other Christian pupils to appear in their church robes if female Muslims were allowed to wear hijab. It has, however, dropped its allegations in ordinance with the verdicts given by the courts. The judgment which implies that female students in public schools can express their constitutional rights without any fear of harassment is seen as a victorious conquest which deserves to be celebrated. In a related development, the Army Headquarter Education Corps has also approved the use of hijab in all command schools and its provisions would be effective from September resumption. Meanwhile, the President General of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Al Haji Mohammed Saad Abubakar, has stated that the court verdict is only supporting the Constitution. Correspondent with Warren Abdullah has more details. The Court of Appeal in Lagos State passed the judgment that Muslim female children can use hijab in the public school. This has generated a jubilation among Muslims. I'm very happy that um, the court has taken that step. It's really nice to know that a person can practice his religion freely because um, wearing hijab is something we do because we love doing it. This is something we grow up doing and we like. Nobody forces us. Our parents don't tell us we have to do it. And then I feel schools uh, prior to this telling students they can't wear their hijabs, close their hairs, when it's something that they want to do, it's not something that they're being forced, it's wrong. Having a right entails that a person can do anything he wants, anything that's lawful. And closing yourself is not unlawful. I'm glad it has been done because uh, the hijab is the most decent and um, actual way for a female to dress properly and I'm really glad it has been done. Alhamdulillah to that. Alhamdulillah, it's a victory for the Ummah. I'm really happy. From iMedia, Ridwan Ulai Abdullah reporting. A clarification statement issued by the Media Department, National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, has denied the false allegations which is going viral in the media. This false allegation was made by Malam Umar Khalid Maruti. The press statement, while debunking the rumor, has also shed more light on the introduction of e wristbands during the forthcoming Hajj. The e bands will be issued to the pilgrims to guarantee adequate security and guidance for pilgrims who will be able to communicate with the control room as this will add to the smooth operation which NACOM had sustained for nearly a decade.
The statement also clarified that issuing of wristbands to pilgrims had been a tradition in Saudi Arabia and other countries of the world, and its introduction into Nigeria should not be an exception. It has urged the public to discredit the allegation that the pilgrims were charged 25,000 naira and also advised the Muslim faithful to ignore baseless statements made by elements willing to tarnish the image of the Commission and Muslims in general. Former Chairman of the House of Representatives on Appropriation, Abubakar Jubrin, has alleged that he's been threatened by some members of the House of Representatives over the budget budding scandal. He says that there is an impending strategy to harass, blackmail and intimidate him into silence, as he had earlier accused Mr. Dogara and other lawmakers of trying to convert 40 billion naira out of the 100 billion naira allocated to the entire National Assembly to themselves. According to Jubrin, the Speaker of the House should resign honorably as he has failed in representing the interests of the general public. He thereby urges his colleagues and the general public to conduct a special investigation which will confirm his allegations. It will be recalled that Jibrin had been an ally of the Speaker and had only recently been removed as the Chairman of the Committee on Appropriation over the abuse of position. Also, Mr. Dogara has ordered Jibrin to withdraw his allegations as other House members have threatened to take the issue as far as AFCC and United Nations for further investigation. The All Progressive Congress APC has, however, remained silent on the issue. That's it on iMedia News today. I am Toybat Anifowoshe. For more information, download our iMedia TV app and subscribe. You can visit our website on www.imediatv.tv. Masalam.